Welcome back to Mad Investor. So in this short video, I wanted to show you how to withdraw your GBP or USD or Euro using peer-to-peer -peer option. This is amazing, especially for those of you who cannot use the Binance cards or for some other reasons, like doesn't work with some your normal withdrawal methods. This is an extremely easy and fast method. So just pay attention and we'll use the phone to do it. By the way, if you don't have a Binance account, just uh, click in the link in the description of this video to register and grab off uh, the extra perks, which is off trading fees. So to do that, let's do it. First, you will need some money on your wallet and you need that in the funding wallet. This is an important part. If you have it in other wallets, like for example, spot, press transfer and choose from and to. So for example, from spot to funding and choose what do you want to do. The easiest way is to use USDT so or BUSD or some others. USDT is the one which I totally recommend. If you have some Bitcoin or other coins, you can also use it. So now, how to find peer-to-peer -peer and what is that? Peer-to-peer -peer allows you to send your crypto to a normal fiat money through some other peers and through Binance. This is a really safe way because Binance actually is part of that process. So I'll show you step-by-step -step how to do it right now. So you go to home and within home, in the first uh, kind of eight icons, you should see the peer-to-peer. -peer. If you don't, there might be two reasons. First, make sure when you click on the top left that you have the Binance Pro uh, uh, ticked on because otherwise you might have the Binance Lite version, which looks a bit simpler. If you have light, just click again to Binance Pro and make sure it looks similar to mine. After, if you still don't see it, it's cool. Press more and now scroll down to the trade section and now we can find P2P. After we click that, we have many different options to choose from. So now, first choose which uh, currency you want to um, buy. So you want GBP or you want USD. So what we'll do, I will sell my USDT to uh, GBP. So that means I will actually will withdraw the British pound, right? And you can have many different options. So first you can choose GBP and you can see many different currencies to use from. Now, I already have it on the top right GBP. Then I will choose that I don't want to buy, but I want to sell USDT to GBP. And as you can see, there are many different payments. You can already see that for first kind of top are Alipay, WeChat, Revolut, Wise, Monzo, Lloyds Bank, etc. So whichever method is yours, that's what you set it up. And you can easily also filter when you um, click here on the, sorry, on the top uh, right and press payment method. And you can choose which payment method you would like to use. This is a very easy process. I think it's pretty cool for everyone. I uh, mainly use Revolut and Wise as they are literally the fastest one. And you can also use some of the bank accounts. So what we'll do, we'll search for this video. I can put the amount of USDT I want to sell. So I'll put amount, let's say 50, US, uh, 50 GBP, yeah? Confirm. So now it'll sh share with me all the providers which has that amount. So I can see that for example, quick trades have 10 to 850 for pounds. Great, so that's what, what I want to buy. So, uh, so I want to uh, sell my USDT to that pound, right? But you can also search for others. So for example, if you put like a smaller amount, let's say 20, you'll see if it slightly changes. No, it's still, this is one of the best options for me. Okay, I can see that this person already did 121 trades with 93% of completion. That's the important part because obviously you don't want to <laughs> um, sell to someone who has like, let's say 10 of those, right? Because they're barely started. So then what you do, you press sell, then uh, select a payment method and you need to choose the payment method you have. Or for example, like with me, it's, um, I, I already have it, but if you don't have it, you can press add Revolut or your payment method wise or some others. There are many different payment methods as you saw. You put your ref tag and the phone number. That's about it. When you choose your own, you can see that there is a my tag here and I press quantity, right? So this person was selling minimum of 20. So I'll just put, let's say 30, so minimum 12. So I'll put actually, let's say 50 bucks, right? 
fifty dollars, which will give me forty point three five zero sell for a sell USDT. And now what happens? It says waiting for buyer's payments. Obviously, first you need to receive the payments from the buyer to actually release the funds. This is an important part because you want to make sure that you know it's safe. And that's why Binance is providing that safety. So you can see that my payment method, sell USDT, fiat amount will be 40 pounds for the 50 USDT. And I can see in the chat that that person probably, uh, yeah, put it, what, hi, what is your ref tag? It's in the order, right? So, so as you can see, it has a timer. Many times for different currencies, it might be different. For USDT, majority of the time, it's 15 minutes, which I think is pretty okay. But obviously what might happen after 15 minutes, someone won't do it. That's okay, because it costs you nothing know, except time. That's the only challenge. But many times it will take, you know, two, three minutes and the payment will arrive. And from that moment, like you can raise the fund. Just make sure always that the person who is the buyer's name is the person who's actually sending you money. This is something which Binance always tells you. And um, when it happens, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. Because what we'll do, I'll just wait this few minutes and accept the payment so you can see live how does it work. So I can see that the payment has arrived. So I can see that 4035 arrived, that's great. And on my Binance, I can see that it asks me to verify the payment, that the, the um, person who already sent me the money, and it says to me, log into your payment account and then verify that you received the payment that they then click the button. So great, I did, I pressed payment received. And now important guidelines, log into your account by manually confirming that payment is received. Yes, we did that. Check that the buyer's real name on Binance matches their payment account. Yes, it matches, so it's good. If the name is done match, do not release the fund. This is an important part. So for me, great, I tick, I have received and verified the payment and I press confirm the release. Sometimes it might ask you for your 2FA or some message. Uh, I have it set it up for um, kind of a security verification, which is my fingerprint, which I confirm with my fingerprint. And boom, that's it. Gringo successfully sold $50 for 40 pounds. And this is a really easy way on peer-to-peer -to, -peer to withdraw your crypto into GBP or some other cryptocurrency or some other currencies, uh, fiat currencies like Euro or USD. I hope this tutorial has helped you. If yes, you know what to do. Just click that like and subscribe and see you in the next video. Take care.